I can't believe it. Don't know what's going on. Let's show you what we got. Didn't I say in the last video, I believe I said, to properly have a golf hole in your backyard, you need to be able to foresee problems. I can't even make it one year. Total loss of grass. It's all dead in the fairway. 100% dead. This drone footage right now, it's from Sunday. That's from Sunday. Me mowing the green here, that's from Sunday also. Right now it's Friday. So Tuesday, I noticed things were looking dry. It just looked dry. So I don't run sprinklers in the fairway, so I went ahead and run some hoses out, started running the sprinklers. The following day, it was all brown. The, the day after that, I mean, it's, it's done. The root crown, it's just, it's destroyed. So now what do we do? Well, let's talk about that now. Honestly, at this point, I don't know what's going on. I've been in heavy, heavy investigation mode. Today is Friday. So this has all transpired in the last uh, three days. It's went from being plush, green, fairway striped. And my investigations, here's what I got. I've been doing lawn care stuff for 20 some years. I thought I'd seen it all. This is nothing like it. It looks like somebody come in here maybe around Monday and applied like a Roundup, a total vegetation control and done a heck of a job because there's no strips. There's no, you know, if you, you spray a big area, you're going to have strips where you missed or oversprayed, undersprayed. This is total loss in a matter of three days. As of yesterday, I got on the horn. I started calling around. I called our OSU extension agent to see what his thoughts were. I called a couple of agronomists to see what their thoughts were. Everybody's baffled. One thing I know for sure we have, and we have thousands of them, are army worms. Those little burgers are by the thousands in here. That could be causing it. I'm honestly, guys, I don't know what's causing it right now. I look back through my records, because I do keep great records. July 29th, so that's 27 days ago, I applied fertilizer to the fairway. I applied some broadleaf control. No symptoms. Everything was good and green for the first 20-some days. And then all of a sudden, total disaster. So I can't, I don't think it's got anything to do with my over-application of fertilizer, over-application of broadleaf control. Uh, so as of last night, I was kind of just, okay, uh, let's kill the army worms and, and the fairway is just going to need to be reseeded. We're going to extend the fairway down that way, so we're going to kill that and reseed that here soon anyway. So now we just got to reseed the whole entire fairway. Another possible scenario, if we say it's not the army worms, it's not the over-application of fertilizer, or broadleaf control. Uh, last Friday I mowed this and while I was mowing it my zero turn my Kubota the gearbox the final gearbox went out and I only mowed the fairway areas so then at that point I thought well maybe it's slung grease on but we're talking that that mower's got some 90 weight but wouldn't have enough to contaminate this whole area but it was suspicious that that was the only area I mowed and that was the only area was dead yesterday. Now this is where I'm getting super freaked out but as of Friday evening I just got here after work we've got an area over here that's also starting to demise. And look what we have here. Can you guys see that? That's the baby army worms. There are literally hundreds of thousands of the army worms and I feel like they're heading towards green. I've done a strict fungicide and insecticide program on this green and about a 10 foot strip around the green. I'm hoping that's gonna stop them. But like I said, this brown spot that's fresh from yesterday. That has appeared since yesterday. Overnight, it's appeared. So after meeting with the OSU extension agent, talking to the agronomist, I think at this point I'm going to try to control the army worms. I'm going to try to stop them from increasing. And they could possibly reproduce and still have another feast in late September. And we don't want that. Whatever we're doing, we're getting ready to, you know, September is the time I told you I've, I've harped on. September is the time to do all this stuff. Well, we're still going to do it. Obviously now we just got some more to do. And I'm hoping they stay away from the screen. God dang it, guys. You know, we just had the video about what it takes or what it costs to have your own backyard golf hole, blah, blah, blah. Well, I said this is going to be a vlog. Well, guys, we're, we're dick deep in this thing right now. I'm so happy with how August was going. Spud run golf vlog. Life is not good on the course today. All right, just got back in the golf cart, checked my phone. The extension agent from OSU just got back with me. He says he thinks it's army worms. He sent me some files of uh, some articles. It looks like they are hitting very hard here in the Southern Ohio region very hard it's it's amazing that they could munch this whole thing down though the grass is dead he says to treat hard around the green to stop them going any farther so so now we're going to go up to our chemical bin and see what kind of insecticides we have and we are going to spray the piss around that green we're going to spray it hard Army worms are 
waging war on East Texas. Thanks to our recent rain, they have been destroying acres of hay and grass practically overnight. In large numbers, they could consume an entire lawn uh, very rapidly, seemingly overnight, according to most reports. Uh, before they march on as a group to their next favorite food source, which might be your neighbor's lawn. While we agitate, we hydrate. <laughs> no, it's too early for that. It's 8 o'clock. Man, look at the destruction from that drone. That's awful. But the good news is for YouTube content, this is like a crash on a NASCAR race. You guys might get more clicks, more views because of the carnage here at Spud Run Golf. Definitely not my intentions, man. This thing has been my baby day in, day out. Since I've started construction on this thing, it's really been my baby. And uh, it's just awful. But it's a great learning experience, I can tell you that. I guarantee next year things will be different and we'll prevent this. All right, good news is we got everything sprayed and it looks like it's working. It really does. It looks like they're going down. Check it out. <clears throat> Sunday morning now, we got a couple issues. One, I'm not hitting on all cylinders. I've got something majorly wrong with me. We're going to try to work through the day because obviously we have a lot going on. Uh, major problems back here we got to address. So the hot item on this list, this week coming up has got perfect conditions, what I believe, for st starting seed. Now normally I like to start seed around the middle of September, but we're going into September 1st today maybe, and the next seven days, actually the next six days, looks just rain and cooler, so it'll be great to do. Lucky for me, I've got a contact at a local golf course. We're going to take the tractor in to get a four and a half foot slice seeder, so basically you put seed, well, I'll show you more about that once we pick it up. So we got to take the tractor, what is normally a probably 15 to 16 minute drive with your vehicle. We're going to take the tractor, so it's probably going to take about 30 minutes each way. But I think that's easier than loading up the trailer, loading the tractor. But before we roll out this morning, Sunday morning, I need to bush hog a couple fields. So I'm going to do that. It'll probably take me 20, 30 minutes. And then uh, we're going mobile. We're taking a tractor into town because I'm a farmer, baby. I'm a dirt farmer because I can't grow grass on a fairway without army worms killing it. Sunday morning, guys. <laughs> Like I said, the uh, deal here is I'll clean it up, grease it all, make sure everything's working perfect, pretty good. Actually, make sure everything's working perfect. That'll be our payment for using it. They've not used it for a long time, and he said he's got some projects to do with it, so be a win-win. Uh, we'll get it cleaned up and ready. We'll use it to help with our misfortunes, and then he'll, he'll, he'll be able to use it here at the country pub. Beautiful country pub, only nine homes up here. But uh, I actually got a hole in one up here uh, a few months ago in a member guest grant. That'd be my third hole in one. Two on that certain hole. We made it back. We've got this thing power washed, cleaned up, greased. But honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to take a little bit of time here to try to figure out how to set it correctly, figure out how this thing works for sure. Honestly, I've never ran one, so we're gonna figure it out. I've been working on this thing for about four hours, trying to get everything set to where it needs to be. Guys, I still don't know if this is the right thing to do at this time in the game. But I think I'll be out some seed, a couple bags. Uh, just the weather this week is perfect for new seed to establish and get going. So that we're going to dump it down. We're going to get going. And if it doesn't work, we'll revisit this situation here in a couple weeks. I've strung you through enough of my pain by now in this 
this episode, so here's what we got. Hopefully this seat works. We're making our finishing passes on this fairway area. We end up going through about 150 pounds in the whole project. I don't know guys, it's uh I'm really happy that I got a golf hole in my yard, in my backyard. But you will have things like this, I reckon. Definitely a setback. Something I'm definitely gonna learn from. Uh, I can't take that from me. And we'll keep trying away. Keep working and uh, making things better. Several more things coming up soon. I uh, appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps us out on the channel. Guys, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for playing with this Spud Run Golf. Over and out.